Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's IIJJQR with another video commentary. Um, I think I got my settings down correct, so this is a legitimate video. And it basically just shows, um, if you haven't seen my other videos, I am a noob, or I consider myself a noob, and I use the noob tube as my primary weapon. And when I say I am a noob, I really do suck with the other guns, so that's the whole reason I use the noob tube. And this video is just basically showing how um, if you're a noob or you're getting discouraged from not getting a lot of kills, how you can do okay on a map like Scrapyard where uh, it's a very small map and when you're playing Domination you know where people are going, they're going to the flags. Um, one man army helps out a lot. but. As you can see right there, um, basically I just camp out C. Um, I try and defend C. As soon as I hear somebody taking it, I'll go ahead and tube them. Or if I see somebody coming there, you know, I'll go ahead and tube them. But as you can see, um, this strategy seems to help me out a lot. And you know, some games I, I just do terrible, but in this game it's not too bad. And at this point right here, um, that guy was just talking a ridiculous amount of smack to our own team, like giving orders like he was like the boss of our team. So and I was getting very irritated, so I just muted him. But as you can see right here, um, doing pretty well, just camping out C. But while I was muting that guy, the other team went ahead and took C. But our team goes ahead and caps it back, and I'll just go straight on to guarding C. Placing a claymore there is a great location. That fire covers it and especially in ground war there's just so much people on a small map like this. They're not going to be checking for claymores all the time. So that is a great place to put a claymore. And just camping out at sea. You know, don't get a lot of traffic where I'm at so it's very nice. Don't have to worry about somebody flanking me. Securing Bravo. And I'm always checking on the map to make sure I don't have anybody uh, flanking from one side or the other. And right there was just a ridiculously lucky shot. So right here we're losing C again. I go ahead and defend it and somebody flashbangs me so I want to keep my streak alive so I am just running for dear life. My Claymore goes off and I get Harriers. So I go ahead and call in my Harriers and I do have Danger Close on or Danger Close Pro so my explosions from the Harrier airstrike is supposed to be crazy but I get nobody. My Harrier is barely helping me out here. I get one kill from my Harrier just waiting around to get more. And there's my second kill with the Harrier. And at this point, they take out my Harrier, and I'm pretty sad because it didn't trigger off my next kill streak. So now I'm forced to go ahead and get it on my own. Right there, I get lucky and see somebody in there. That could have ended my kill streak right there. And at this point, I am very nervous. That Pavlo is in the air, and it will not let me call in my Chopper Gunner. And I'm just afraid for dear life that somebody's going to come and flank me, but I end up getting my chopper gunner off and you can probably assume or guess what's going to happen next. Uh, I do get the tactical nuke. And like I said, on a map such as Scrapyard playing Domination where the enemies, you know they're going to spawn by their flags and in Scrapyard the map is so small that you know you, you're gonna get multi kills not multi kills but maybe doubles or triples and if they don't shoot you down you know it's, it's gonna be a very difficult time for them to do anything as you can see they all spawn right next to each other so it's very easy to get kills and if you're getting discouraged you know Go ahead and look for a domination match on Scrapyard. Equip yourself with that Harrier and Chopper Gunner and you will do pretty good. So I do get the nuke and I do call it in. I, I snip out a bunch of this video because I don't call in the nuke right away. I try to run around with the P90. 
and that doesn't work out well for me but I do call in the nuke and my final score is 48 and 13 all right